Aren't these two just a match made in heaven? I really think they're gonna go great together. Hi there, it's Carmen here with another Sewing My Stash video where I attempt to make a dent in my ever-growing fabric stash by using up one of the fabrics that I already have. So let's go find our next fabric. So we're here at my stash and this time I've actually got a pretty good idea in my head of what I want to make. I've been thinking about making like a long cozy type of cardigan for a while and it seemed like now is as good a time as ever to just go ahead and make one. And I actually have the perfect fabric in my stash. Let's see if you can pick out the one I'm gonna go with. It is... This one! Woo! This time I'm gonna be going with a commercial pattern because I've been seeing one around that I have really been wanting to try and that would be... Oh, it's upside down! <laughs> that would be the Blackwood Cardigan by Helen's Closet! Aren't these two just a match made in heaven? Alright, so let's head over to the sewing table and get sewing! or actually cutting. Cutting first, and then sewing. Well, let's do it. So I'm getting ready to start cutting this out, and the thing I'm most worried about is the loose knit of the fabric. I'm just worried that as soon as I cut into it and start trying to sew it, that it's gonna fall apart. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut a little swatch out of the corner here, and then we'll just see how it does. Seems like it's holding together to me. I think it'll hold as I go through the machine as long as I don't really just like pull on it a lot. See if I pull on it, it kind of starts coming apart. So before any sewing can commence, of course I had to cut out all the pieces. So I cut out two cardigan front pieces, one cardigan back on the fold, two sleeves, two sleeve cuffs, one bottom band cut on the fold, two front band pieces as well as two pocket top pieces and two pocket bottom pieces. And I cut all the pieces corresponding to view A because I wanted the longer cardigan. For the two front band pieces, I ended up having to cut a small portion of each piece separately and then sew it onto the longer piece because I didn't have quite enough fabric to cut out the full length of both of those pieces. So first up, it's time to put together the pockets. And I accidentally forgot to film this part, but to make the pocket tops, basically I just folded them in half with wrong sides together and then sewed them together along the short sides as well as the long side to make a little cute top for the pockets. Next, we need to sew the pocket tops to the pocket bottoms by matching up the bottom of the pocket top along the top of the pocket bottoms with right sides matching, pinning that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and sew them together. With that done, next it was time to mark the location of the pockets onto the fronts of the cardigan. So basically I used the pattern and I just transferred the markings for the pocket placement from the pattern onto the cardigan front pieces. And instead of using chalk, I just marked the corners with pins because I didn't really think that the chalk would show up very well on this fabric. Next, I just folded under the sides and bottom of both of my pockets by about a quarter of an inch, just enough to cover that serging. And then I pinned the pockets to the front pieces, matching them up with the markings that I just transferred from the pattern. Then I sewed the pockets onto the front pieces along the sides and bottoms by top stitching. And this is when I really realized what I had gotten myself into with this fabric because it is difficult to sew. It is super bulky and hard to get the fabric under my machine, especially when there's even more than one layer, let alone three or four layers. And it liked to get wavy a lot, so for the pockets I ended up sewing with a piece of tissue paper underneath of the front piece and that seemed to help it slide through the machine a lot better and then I just tore the tissue paper off when I was done. 
Now with those absolutely adorable pockets finally put on, they were definitely worth the struggle. It is now time to really start putting this thing together. So to start, I laid out the front pieces with the right side facing up with the center front in the center. And then I laid the back piece with the right side facing down so that they'll be right sides together. And I matched up the shoulder seams and pinned them together. Then I cut two small pieces of clear rubber elastic matching the length of the shoulder seams. Then I sewed the shoulder seams, making sure to incorporate a small piece of clear elastic into each shoulder seam to stabilize it. I basically made sure to serge everything in this project because this fabric definitely tended to fray, so it needed to be contained with serging. Now it's time to sew in the sleeves. So to sew in the sleeves, I basically laid the cardigan facing right side up with the back towards the left and the front pieces towards the right to open up the armhole area. Then I pinned one sleeve into each armhole with the right sides together and I made sure to match up the double notches to make sure that I had the correct sleeve in the correct armhole because there is a slight difference on these sleeves. It does make a difference which sleeve goes into which armhole. Now with the sleeves in, we can sew up the side seams. So I turned the cardigan inside out and I pinned the side seams all the way up the side seam of the cardigan, matching up that underarm seam, and then continuing pinning all the way along the length of the sleeve. Then I just took this to my serger and went ahead and serged the entire side seam and underarm seam all in one go. Now we've really got the basic shape of a cardigan, which is really exciting. So now it's just time to start putting together the cuffs and bands. So I started with the sleeve cuffs and to sew these, I folded them in half with right sides together, lining up the long edges. Then I pinned along the long edges. Then I took them to my serger and I sewed the long edges together to form a small loop. Then I took them back to my sewing table and I folded them in half with the right sides facing out to form little sleeve cuffs. And once I had my sleeve cuffs formed, I just sewed with my serger around that bottom edge of each cuff to secure everything in place so that they would be easy to work with when I tried to sew them to my sleeves. And with my sleeve cuffs formed, I then pinned one sleeve cuff to each sleeve with right sides together. Then I just sewed the sleeve cuffs on with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. Now it's time to put together the bottom band. So to put together the bottom band, I folded it with wrong sides together, long ways. And then I just pinned all the raw edges together and I sewed all the raw edges together on my serger. So sewing up the two folded short sides as well as the long side. Next, I pinned the bottom band to the right side of the bottom edge of the cardigan and sewed it on with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. And we are on to the final step and that is putting together the front band that is going to finish this cardigan off. So to sew the front band, first we need to sew the two front band pieces together. So I put them together with right sides touching and sewed them together along one of the short ends to form one long piece. Next, I folded the corners down on each side of the front band piece and pinned it in place, folding it with right sides together. Then I could take this to my sewing machine and sew each of those short ends together. Then once it's sewn, you can turn it right sides out and you'll have a nice sharp corner that is already finished and ready to go. Next up, it's time to pin the front band piece with the right sides together along the entire length of that bottom edge of the front band piece. Once it was pinned, I then took it to my serger and I serged the entire length of the front band piece just so that it would be easier to work with when I tried to put it on my cardigan. 
And the very last step is to sew the front band piece onto the cardigan. So I pinned it to the right side of the cardigan all the way around the last remaining raw edge that we have. So up the front of one side, around the back of the neck, and down the front of the other side, making sure to match up the hem of the front band pieces with the hem of the cardigan. Then I sewed it on with a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. And this was extremely difficult because it was so many layers of fabric, but I got it in the end and I am very happy with the result and I'm glad I went through the pain to get there. But once the front band piece is sewn on, that is it and the cardigan is done. So here she is. She is done, my beautiful, cozy, long blackwood cardigan. This one was so much fun to make. It is always so great to use one of the fabrics that I already have because they're really not doing that much good just sitting in the shelves in my closet. So I am really glad that I finally can add a comfy long cardigan to my wardrobe, which I have been wanting for a very long time, actually since like high school. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week.